Hey everybody, it's Steve Ritter again, Phil Stokes' son. So I wanted to do another video. I was up this morning, getting up a little earlier. I usually wake up before everybody else does in the house, and uh, I was digging through some uh, the old pictures and and stuff that I'd gotten from Mom's house, and I just was looking through some pictures. Then I will share some of those with you today. Uh, just some more memories of my mom and and stepdad Bucky. Um, and uh, I, I found some really cool stuff, and I kind of want to break this up into like the early years, and then some things with them, and then some other thoughts. But uh, I, 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 I talked the last the, the last time I kind of talked about memories, and we talked about them uh, getting married and everything else. I want to go back a little bit even farther than that because I found some cool stuff, and I think I might have shown some of this again, but I'll, I'll kind of go over it again. But uh, this one. Uh, this little this was out of her notepad um, and this was um, uh, something that she had filled out and it was all the things she was looking for and in and a, and a husband I guess by that time she her and my dad there was no way they were going to get back together again and uh, but this is kind of what she was looking for uh, and she did she prayed about it a lot and everything else kind of and was believing for the, the Lord would send somebody along but uh, um, and I, I won't show you the list. Uh, this is it. But uh, it, I, I, a couple of the points that stood out, um, you know, somebody that was committed to, to the Lord. Um, nice looking. <laughs> um, and uh, wholehearted about what he does. Somebody uh, uh, faithful, uh, um, self-control, um clean, uh, uh, strong and courageous, dignity, charisma, um, and it's, it's funny because there's little check marks on here, so, and this, this was dated December 25th, 1980, so this was uh, a year and a half before she met Bucky, because uh, she met him on June 18th, 1982, and I'll know that, how do I know that? I'm about to show you, but um, this is... Um, uh, uh, it, it's funny because this was well before, so she she was dating um, because there's different check marks on here. Mom was very methodical, and there's check marks as you can see. Uh, so there were obviously at least three different guys here that uh, that she was evaluating and looking at, and some of them didn't do very well at all on here. Uh, but I thought that was kind of funny. But on the back side of this um, is a is a note dated uh, in May 20th of 1980 and this was just a prayer she she wrote out a prayer to, to the Lord asking for uh, a man filled uh, with your Holy Spirit uh, who uh, believes as I do um, basically somebody that's equally yoked uh, like the Bible talks about but uh, uh, one who wants to please the Lord uh, and I, I thought this was cool. Who I can follow, one who who my children will love and respect, and one who will love them as though they were his own. And uh, I think God answered that prayer. So uh, I just I thought that was really neat. Um, and so uh, years later, uh, she gets an invitation at the American Legion number no. six for a. Uh, uh, music dancing on Friday, uh, June 18th, 1982. This is probably backwards, this uh, camera. Sorry about that. Um, just know that that's it. <laughs> Maybe you can hold a mirror up to the screen and look at it. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not savvy enough with this laptop to figure that out. Probably could. Pretty got other stuff going on. So here it is. Um, but it said, she wrote on the bottom here, it's Friday, June 18th, 1982, and it says, met, uh, met Bucky Stokes tonight. And she's, this is apparently, she spelled it with an I-E instead of a Y. So, so this was so new. She, apparently he made an impact on her that night. Um, but she didn't spell his name right there. But uh, so that was that how new that was. Um, so that was, uh, I thought that was kind of cool. So that's when she met him. That's that's the dance that she met. She talked about that, um, and uh, I was looking at. So I was doing looking back through some old. They had some old letters and, and private stuff, and I, I won't uh, get into that and all. But uh, 
but I, I did. I was doing a little sleuthing, and apparently, um, about December of 1982, there's a card. I don't know if I kept it or not. Um, anyway, it said that it was a it was a drop-in party that that they were having. And they, they might have talked about it in one of their old videos, but they apparently they got in a big fight. And I vaguely remember, because we like Bucky a lot, and we're hoping, come on, we're hoping that, uh, okay, uh, that that uh, that they would, uh, you know, they would hit it off because we really like Bucky. And um, but I, I vaguely remember them getting a big, uh, big spat about something, and it was about that time because. On the card, it says this is the dropout party. Uh, so apparently, there was the bad enough fight that they they um, uh, that they um, uh, had some some words and stuff. But uh, there's because there's another letter that Bucky wrote her that, that basically you know hey up you know we need to both do some thinking and praying about this and all and and uh, I'm, apparently they did and apparently the Lord put it on their heart. But uh, there's here's a letter. Uh, that she, again, that she wrote um, again to the Lord, uh, January twenty second, nineteen eighty three. That she said, uh, "I commit this relationship to you." Um, and uh, and she said that I'll I'll rest in you. Uh, so apparently, you know, they 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 reconciled. They they made up, and I do remember that, and uh, and got back together, and then that was that was it. So. Um, a couple of months after that, uh, I guess they, they decided that they were going to get married. I think I showed this note, but this is the note that, uh, that they, that she wrote, um, Saturday, May 14th, 1983, quarter till 10, make sure the children know this is a conversation with uh, pastor Turner. And this is the pastor Turner and his wife and mom and Bucky, um, on their wedding day. Um, and that was, uh, the, at the house there. I might have taken that picture. I'm pretty sure I did. Notice how it's off center. That's probably me. Um, and then uh, here's a picture I found of them and uh, on their their wedding cake. Bucky sporting a nice mustache there. Um, that was a wedding cake. Um, and uh, this was uh, this was at the wedding ceremony. This is me and Renee, my sister Renee and Ernie. Uh, we we're all pretty happy. Um, and then we went on to uh, uh, the beach um, for like a little mini honeymoon, and that was uh, May 14th, 15th, 1983. So that's the this is the the place where we stayed. Um, wasn't very nice, but you know it was like spur of the moment. And I think they talked about that. This is us at the beach there. So there's my sister Renee. Uh, there's Ernie. There's me, and there's mom. Obviously, Bucky took that one, so we're that's where they were showing us. Actually, ironically, I do remember that because that's where Ernie was showing me how to to uh, make sandcastles. I've always just you know piled it up and packed down and carved it out with the the trick where you kind of get a little bit of the wet sand and you hold it up and you dribble and it makes like a this gothic looking spires and stuff that dribbled sand. If you ever been to the beach and done that, um, the the sand in South Carolina, you can do that. Uh, never seen that before, and I, I remember that. Now that I'm looking at this, he's got that. That's what he's got going on there. It kind of looks like uh, Spetzel or, or or like uh, fried, you know, the fried elephant ear dough or whatever. Um, and then here's Bucky and, and me and Ernie right there uh, doing some sandcastle stuff. And here they are with cutting the cutting that cake that we saw. Um, so that was a, that was a happy day for all of us. Um, but one thing that struck me. Um, with all the things looking at it and all the pictures and and everything else is just um, I know Bucky loved my mother very much and and all of those things that, that she prayed for you know God delivered and brought that man into her life and, and into our lives um, and we loved him very much and, and uh, she loved him um, but I just going through some pictures of them some from the early days this was uh, in our living room in our house and uh, Columbia. There's that uh, Canada picture that uh, that I'll have a print of for everybody. But uh, that's uh, he's got the nice beard going on there. He had a beard for a while, I remember. Um, and uh, here's another picture from their wedding day. 
So, looking sharp. Uh, he looks like a school administrator there, doesn't he? <laughs> this is uh, from uh, Christmas time uh, picture. I think I've shown a picture of that before. So, uh, very much in love. And, and uh, th this was, a, I think, to my at my grandmother's house for Easter that year. Um, we went up. Or maybe it was the next year, that first Easter together. So that's uh, that's them there. Uh, this is a very alluring picture here, my glamorous glamour shot. Uh, I guess he got her a, uh, uh, I don't know, it was rabbit or mink or whatever it was, jacket. But uh, yeah, she loved that thing. But all these pictures of them, I love this one there. So. She's smiling a lot like my sister Renee right there. That was the way Renee left. Pretty happy there. And uh, here they are at the beach. A lot of a lot of pictures from the beach. Those are some happy times for us going to the beach. I remember. So, I'll try to hold these pictures up a little longer. Some of you have, have mentioned that. Um, this was, I believe. Um, Oh, barracks. This must have been my senior year. He's out. They're outside third battalion. Though. So this is at the Citadel. I think this was my senior year. They came down for a, for a visit. Standing outside the barracks, I was staying in. Ernie was in that battalion too, so we were both there in that same barracks, which made it pretty convenient. So here we are. Here's here's another stay they had at the beach. I don't think I went to this beach house. This was probably after I went on active duty. Um, this looks like uh, this might be at my grandmother's house again. Here's this is a later picture. Bucky loved to hug her. Let's <laughs> love that. Now this uh, this picture. Um, this was, I guess they went on a cruise. This is one of those ones where you, when you first step off the boat, Bucky's uh, got this uh, safari shirt on here. You'll see this one again. The mom's uh, got her Jackie O glasses on there. <laughs> this is uh, this is that same shirt. So I, I, I'm wondering if, if they were in uh, safari in Africa. That light's not very good. It's shiny off the page here. If uh, he looks like he's on safari in Africa or something there, doesn't he? That shirt. Um, anyway, um, but just a lot of these pictures like this of them together over the years. A lot of traveling they did, and and uh, nice meal together there. This was outside their house in uh, St. Matthew's there. So. And uh, this is a later one as well. And then this is a nice one right here. It's a nice big one. So I just just was struck by you know some of the letters and some of the pictures, just how how much they loved each other and hugged on each other and. Um, I just uh, just really got a sense of that. I just was getting a little nostalgic this morning watching that and looking at that and just that love they had. And um, and these just some other odd and sundry pictures here. So this was one of their trips somewhere. I'm not sure where this was, but I just she had the uh, Citadel sweatshirt on there, so I probably gave her that for Christmas or something one year. So. Um, and uh, here she is in front of the fireplace at the house there, her yellow house, or house in St. Matthews. There's a little uh, gingerbread house she built one year. I think this was for Christmas, that Christmas party she had. She made a nice uh, gingerbread house. That's pretty nice. Doubtful it was eaten. Uh, let's see. Speaking of gifts I gave her, I'm, I'm also fairly certain that I got her uh, these Citadel sweatpants. So you could just go to the cadet store and buy that. 
So, um, let's see what else we got here. Um, here's another picture of her outside the Citadel fashionista <laughs> posing there. This was, um, judging by the, the trees, um, I'm, it, this is either before Hugo or well after Hurricane Hugo hit in 1989. I, I think that's probably, uh, that's probably before, I think. Um, here's some pictures of our old house, and uh, this is where we, this is where I grew up in Columbia. Um, this was our old house. Um, and that's where uh, Bucky would come on the way to, to, to go to work, would stop and have coffee with Mom every morning. Every morning we'd see him there. So this is probably, so those both of those trees there in the front yard are gone now. I remember climbing those. They weren't nearly that high when I was a kid. In fact, all the trees are out of there cut all out so times change you know when you see that this is some of my favorites though just again beach beach pictures this is not a very clear picture or anything else but this is a big old uh, panoramic shot of Bucky on the on the beach fishing that's one of his favorite things to do and uh, believe it or not mom, mom even uh, got into the act sometimes so she's there trying to fix something something wrong with the, one of the reels there so here she is in action again. That's a nice one. Always out there fishing. We love fishing. So, and then um, this is one um, of mom uh, in the kitchen, and this was before um, she painted all the cabinets and all. So this is what they look like. This was early days in the in the house there in St. Matthew. So about to get cooking something. Um, this was on one of her trips. Bucky would take pictures of her all the time. But this one right here, look, just I looked at that and I, I thought at first that it was my sister Renee because it looked a lot like her. So, and then uh, here's mom with the, I think she was trying out some bangs there. <laughs> so, I don't think she stuck with that look. But uh, here's another one with Bucky on the beach. When he loved fishing, and Bucky, he always had the, the funny sense of humor, and you've all seen that over the years and all. And this one just, just kind of made me laugh here. So, rendering proper courtesies to the commander in chief, sitting there. <laughs> and uh, last couple of pictures. Um, the, um, that one, there's one picture that Mom painted of uh, her first poodle, Gray. They call him Graybo. This is this is him. So they love that dog. Mom always said the dog was smarter than my kids. Sometimes I think she was right. <laughs> Here she is with. She must have said something funny. Gray's laughing there. So. And then um, this was uh, that dog I was telling that story about uh, spoiling her and the dog jumping up and biting her on the nose. This is this is Bonnie. That was her little brown cocker spaniel, little chocolate cocker spaniel, little Bonnie. So, I uh, just just was looking through that today and just struck by that. Just the those early days and and just uh, you know just how much they loved each other and you really could see that. So all their travels and everything else. So um, I just uh, just a little walk down memory lane, a little sentimental walk. Uh, I hope you appreciate it. So. Um, and uh, uh, I appreciate all the support again for the channel and watching and 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 some people have asked about this and and I just wanted to reiterate again about the the channel and I talked with mom before um, she wanted me to continue on and again to to, to use the channel to to, to um, you know to, to as a legacy to, to pass along to me but also to, to continue supporting the school and and, and proceeds from, from what this channel makes goes to the school, not sent a check every month. Um, and But, you know, she wanted me to continue it on and, and keep it going for, for you and all the recipes and things, and a lot of you have looking at them. And, 
And and I told her I was like, well, mom, I you know I had one day planned to to have a gentleman's farm and to do this kind of thing because I I just get a kick out of it and I watch other people's videos and 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 homesteads and the things they do and it just interests me you know and I learn things watching other people and I'm like I've always kind of imagined that I would do something like that and and she got excited about it she's like well this, that's that's what this channel is is and and I think in a lot of ways I'm like her that way is trying new things and just going I wonder about that you know making my own pickles or pickled eggs or or little herb gardens or trying to cook this or cook that or whatever and just experiment or flying or whatever so it won't just be strictly cooking or you know whatever it's just basically anything that that interests me that i think maybe you would be interested in so um a lot of you have have been very supportive there have been a few that that you know i don't understand why i don't i mean this is where i'm coming from i um continuing on i'm not trying to uh you know i'm not walking over anybody's grave or anything like that some it's, it's terrible comments some people have, have posted and and uh i just again i you know trolls whatever you whatever um i was laughing the other day somebody posted a comment <laughs> and and I, I started to delete it and it was just it was just not very nice and 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 it was like borderline kind of nasty and and i was like you know what i'm gonna just let it sit for because i was curious what would happen and then a couple hours later benjamin come walk by. i'm like hey benjamin come here and look at this and it was all of you a lot of you have it were, were protective again the mama bears and and I, I i i coined another term the the valkyries you guys just 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 pounced on this person and and uh it was entertaining i just sat there with the popcorn watching watching the show but uh, i appreciate that and i, I get this the sense that the vast majority of all of you understand what mom intended and what what i intend to, to continue doing and you understand that and you understand where i'm coming from so and i appreciate that and i feel really feel the love that that mom felt from from all of you too so i appreciate you all too very much and i enjoy doing this and i enjoy you know some of you even said that too about doing this with my children and and how good that feels i really enjoy doing it with benjamin and bella it's a lot of fun you a lot of you have asked about my wife uh she's very camera shy well well it i'll keep hoping keep hoping come on that uh, that maybe she'll she'll come on she's just she's not that way but but maybe one day we'll see um but uh i'm not gonna pressure her <laughs> so talk about valkyries um Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little bit of walk down memory lane and, and uh, uh, some memories. And um, I've, I've got some uh, more stuff. I'm going to probably do another video. And I've got a bunch of stuff from mom's childhood uh, report cards and things like that and old pictures. And I thought, you know, if you're if you're interested in, in seeing something like that, just uh, just leave some comments down below if you're interested, if you'd like to see that, too. Um, uh, anyway. Um, I hope everybody's doing okay. I think, um, hopefully, we're on the back end of this Corona thing. Um, so uh, stay safe, and um, and this is uh, this is the Colonel signing off. Over and out.